have you guys in a new setup um, just in the window because this is the only spot like it's literally open this wide um, because once again it's kind of warm outside and somebody asked me before where I'm from I'm from Alberta kind of central Alberta um, it's kind of cooled down with the temperatures we're not staying at 35 anymore but it's still kind of warm and I'm in an old farmhouse so that heats up even faster so um, if you see like dust pieces flying around first of all I have like the curtains right here so when they move that's kind of what happens. Second of all, I'm sitting in my dog's bed to film this because it's kind of nice and comfy. And third, um, the more I move because it's like obviously the sun, it looks worse for you guys than it does to me. So excuse me, I'm not a messy person, but yeah, this is what happens when you sit in your dog's bed full of hair. <laughs> and you sit in the one small spot with uh, lights. Okay. Um, so I filmed this video about two three hours ago <laughs> and I tried to film once again in my car and it kind of worked but um, I was listening to everything again and trying to like see if it worked the way I wanted it to and it did but uh, once again I was blabbing on way too much and that's not what I wanted. So I'm going to make this shorter and get to the points and not think about what I wanted to say as much. I'm going to try my best so okay first of all um, Obviously, once again, I'm later than I want it to be. I wanted to have an update on Monday, latest Tuesday. Today is Thursday and it's now afternoon. So, I'm pretty sure this video won't be up until either late, late, late tonight or tomorrow. It is cycle day 23 for me today. And um, I think I'm 6 DPO. So, yay. Um, my temperatures actually look like I ovulated again. And this time a little bit earlier, I think I ovulated on cycle day 17. I'm pretty sure I had that positive OPK on cycle day 16 that day that I showed you guys, I think. And then cycle day 17 is when you guys would have had that video up that you watched last. So, um, yay for that. Almost a week past ovulation. So that's exciting. Um, as for my temps, I did, I'll show you my chart later and I'll explain more then, I think, because they'll make it easier. But, um, I had trouble the last two days taking my temp. For some reason, I just couldn't sleep. I was just up a lot, even though it was in hect like, hectic days. I was exhausted, but I just couldn't sleep. Um, so yeah, Tuesday morning and Wednesday morning were just a bust. I wake up at 1 in the morning and then realize it's 1, so I try and make myself go back to sleep again. And then I wake up at 2 a.m. and having to go to the bathroom really bad and then having to get up and so... If I took my temp, it was a 2 a.m. after just a short amount of sleep, uh, like literally an hour or less. Um, and then also, obviously, like still 45 minutes too early for when I usually take my temp. Now, like I don't always take it. Sometimes I wake up just before my alarm because now my body knows, okay, like this is usually the time where your alarm goes off. So I usually have like a range of 2.30 in the morning to 3 around there. So that's usually as like fertility friend recognizes it too. So I just didn't write those two days down. But it, as it turns out, even though I took those temps at 2 in the morning, uh, today when I actually slept fine and great and same as always and woke up with my alarm, uh, it was still the same temp as the last two days. So um, yeah, I'll explain more to that later. After my week, like I said, Monday, my parents were over, so I had no time to film. Tuesday, I had a bunch of errands to run. Um, yesterday, I had more errands to run, and I got a gift for Matt because it's our anniversary on August 11th. And then on Tuesday, also, like Tuesday night, well, mon Monday night into Tuesday morning that way, um, when I couldn't sleep at all, like I was literally just laying awake, rolling back and forth. When I would lay on my back, I would have really sharp pain on my left side like really bad and it lasted for like I couldn't do anything to make it go away and I swear it felt like uh, growing pains which I haven't felt in forever but they weren't exact like they were close to my hip but a little bit more towards my ovaries so I like I tried to explain it to Matt in the morning because he was like why are you tossing and turning so much or why were you tossing and turning so much and I'm like first of all I couldn't sleep and then I like I had pain in it like I was trying to explain it to him right and he's like well I don't know maybe you're growing I'm like mm. but uh, as I was saying is like it like I literally felt like I could feel the egg like going through my tubes but I'm like it's ridiculous that's obviously not what it is but like I don't know that's just what it felt like to me because I've never felt anything like it. The other thing I wanted to mention is, like, since I am, like, 6 TPO today, um, last time, 
I thought I had a 14 day like lupone phase or whatever it's called but as it turns out like a uh, countdown to pregnancy and my doctor said I figured I'll ovulate it cycle day what what did I say 19 but it turned out to be 21 so there's a two day difference um so my 14 day lupo phase actually turned out to be a 12 day so I don't think you can see Bailey she's trying to get comfy on the couch so that will put me like right half point today I guess um which means like AF should be due any like I don't know if it's gonna be the same little phase of the cycle or if my body's gonna be like longer with us now or shorter with it now I don't know um I'm planning to go for blood work on Monday probably um I'm supposed to be going tomorrow, but I'm trying to drag it out as long as I can because obviously like if I attempt to stay up, like I am pretty sure I ovulated, so I don't need to confirm that. So now it's just a matter for me to figure out if there is any HCG present, right? So the longer I wait into my DPO, the bigger the chances are that if I am, that my doctor can confirm it when I call in, right? So I'm probably going to go Monday. Um, just because I like to have Matt with me and Monday is a holiday for us here in Canada. So, well, at least in Alberta, I don't know if it's in it everywhere. <laughs> but, um, that's the plan so he can drive me just because of that place that I'm usually going to. Like, because my veins are so small and they collapse, like, my arm usually hurts a lot and I get dizzy if they take, like, have to take a lot and are just being idiots about stuff and poke me 60 times. So I don't like to drive after, so I'm pretty happy that he would be home on Monday, so we'll probably go be gone then. Which means if I can wait and not test on Monday, I'm planning to test on Tuesday, which I'm obviously going to film for you guys. Um, just because I completely forgot because Emily obviously or, uh, sent me all of her OPKs um, and I, I swore it was like I thought it it was like just a random package like not a random package but like I ordered those like 40 OPKs and 20 pregnancy tests. Well, it turns out from last time around, I only had um, two pregnancy tests left. Two, like from the one fall. I have two of the clear blue, but I don't want to use those unless it's like I see a line and I just want to confirm it. Um, so technically only two pregnancy tests. So I don't want to obviously start testing too early and then run out and then I don't know. Um, if my temps are still high by Monday morning, I might test on Monday because if they stay high and I don't get a dip by then, um, that like that could mean something because usually I'm like two, three days before I'll start seeing like a decline. Um, so yeah, if if they start declining like on the weekend or whatever, I'm just gonna wait until Tuesday just to make sure it's white and then just wait for AF I guess. Um, since I only had two tests and I went to like run some errands today, what I did, um, since I don't, <sighs> I'm like, guys, there's so much to tell you guys all the time and I feel like you guys hate me because my videos are all over the place. Um, so what happened last time or the time before, the time before when I never even ovulated, um, I took the first response and I still have them and there's still line like pink lines on them I'm not kidding like there's pink lines on them so what happened was I got false positives I think like four in a row four days or whatever it was you guys update me on that because I don't remember um so obviously that had me really upset because I figured this was it I was pregnant and then my doctor called me and told me I never even ovulated so um, thankfully I got my money back, but now I'm really sensitive about buying first response again just because of that bad experience and it, I think it's understandable too. Um, so I think I would go back to first response if I were to see lines on like the wand phone stuff because they've been blank for me so far. Um, so obviously if there's a line to show up there then maybe I go out and buy first response just to see if I can see the lines. Because the LPKs work for me, like I showed you guys in the last video, I think. Um, anyway, so I went today and I looked around um, what other options I could get. Um, as for the lines, there wasn't a whole lot. I actually like to look for lines, but obviously it drives me crazy too, trying to figure out whether or not there is actually a line. Um, so I ended up buying these because they were on sale. So I just got two extra ones of the clear blue and they just say like the plus or minus. I've heard bad things about the blue dye because I think that's what it is, but honestly at this point I don't have a choice. Like I needed something and Wanfo 
but the long weekend they wouldn't get here in time so yeah there was another brand like the walmart cheapy brand but they were literally like just lines and i don't know i just i've had good good experiences with clear blue so far so i guess i'll see if they screw me over now and show me lines that should really be there um so yeah my plan is still like i said testing on monday if my temps stay high until then and if i can keep temping properly um if they go lower then there's really no reason for me to test maybe just a random one tuesday or wednesday just to confirm it's still white um but if they should stay up then i'm going to start testing probably monday if i can wait that long but i have to because i have only two one falls and now these so fingers crossed uh luckily tomorrow is kind of a busy day setting things up saturday my friend is bringing her kids over she is invited to a wedding and her parents were supposed supposed to watch her kids but um they're actually going on vacation because it's the long weekend and everything kind of got messed up so they're staying at our place which will be interesting because i don't think matt and i have ever babysitted together and the little girl is just shy of two years and then they have a four and a half year old boy um they know me like i know them but i haven't seen them probably in like six months um <laughs> So it'll be interesting, but we have a fun day plan. They're coming over Saturday early morning and staying the night Saturday and then getting picked up on Sunday. Um, so yeah, that'll be interesting. I think it'll be nice for us to get some practice in, even though I have to say I'm a little bit worried just because like we're trying to have a baby and when you have a baby like a newborn, you kind of get into it slower. It's not like you need to be disciplining a baby. You know what I mean? Like you can start learning each other's parenting ideas and stuff. Here, it's like you have a day and you need to get your shit together. So um, I'll let you guys know how it went. Maybe I'll even vlog a little bit to see, to let you guys laugh at us of how we do with two kids. Um, but yeah, we're actually kind of really excited to have like a parenting experience, kind of. Um, so that'll be fun. But I'm blabbing on once all over again. I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on. So then you guys should either see me Monday if I should test. Um, or Tuesday, I guess. Whatever happens with my temps and the test. So yeah, I'll show you guys my chart. Okay, so this is my chart. Um, like you guys see, like I started temping here when it was still kind of high and then it went low, low, whatever. So then I had my positive on 16 here and then I'm pretty sure I'll be laid on 17 because like I said, fertility friend says it and then I had a big spike and I've been around here. Now like you guys can see there's a dotted line which means I didn't put anything in for Tuesday and Wednesday which is why, um, well I explained that earlier because the temps were ironically they were the same as today's where is it here uh, I think it was like 98.19 or something um, but I left them out just to make sure that my chart doesn't get messed up because they were obviously kind of phony temperatures so we'll see how it keeps going um, to me it's kind of a little bit weird because my chart last month um, was a lot higher um, I think I was at 98.5 or 6 or even 7 at some point and I'm kind of stuck where I am right now. The highest was like 98.24 or 25, something like that. Um, so we'll see if it goes any higher or if it comes back down. Actually, I could show you guys maybe last month's chart just as comparison. Okay, so this is it. Same kind of up, down, up, down. Um, my ovulation wasn't as obvious as it was this time around, which I'm happy about that it's starting to get better, I guess. Um, fertility friend figured I ovulated on Sega Day 19 because that was kind of the peak here and then it went high. But both uh, Countdown and Pregnancy and my doctor figured it was 21. So then up, down. Um, now, as for the temperatures in the high... Um, yeah, see, so it was like 98.5 almost at some point, and right now I'm stuck like somewhere here. So I'm kind of already at the low point, which kind of freaks me out because I'm only 6 TPO. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we'll see where it goes and hopefully go a little bit higher.
Okay, so thank you guys so much for still supporting me and still being here. I love you guys a lot, and I hope my camera's not cutting me off again like last time. Um, I really appreciate all the nice comments that you guys have for me all the time and the support, and uh, I have a lot of people kind of counting on the cycle for me. Everybody thinks that I'm going to be pregnant. I don't know what to think, just because of my temps like I guys just showed you. It could happen, it could not be it yet. Um, so far I'm not really stressing that much yet because I know we still have five or six more months left of uh, the Femera. And it seems to be getting me to ovulate, right? So, um, fingers crossed it'll happen at some point. I wouldn't mind if it happened right now, <laughs> obviously, because it would be perfect timing with our anniversary right around the corner. So, yeah, fingers crossed and obviously fingers crossed for all of you guys too. I know a bunch of people that are like in a whole different positions of their cycles, either AF just showed or they're literally right around to test today or tomorrow. Um, I'm just so excited for everybody and it's so nice to have all of you guys and I love you guys so much. I am planning to get back into this more and update you guys more, um, especially if it doesn't work out this time around. I am planning to vlog a lot more and show you guys a lot more of my struggles and my happiness and all that stuff. So, yeah, I'll see you guys really soon, I promise. Definitely next week, um, depending on how everything turns out. <laughs> okay, so I'll see you guys soon. Bye!